why you must write CSIR net in 2022 and why you must write all the three CSIR net exams in 2022. That's the question we are going to discuss today. I'm going to give you some important pointers to discuss the benefits and risk. Now, the reason I have, I have decided to take up this topic today is because many students came to me and said, sir, let me skip the January exam, let me target the June exam or the December exam. So I'm going to highlight some pointers which will emphasize why you must write CSIR net in the next one year and why you must write it all the times it occurs. Okay, so let's get started. The first point which I want to bring to you is CSIR HRDG has told us that there will be three exams in the next one year. Now, if you didn't get any attempt in past 18 months, they are trying to give you a booster here. That means in any other year, you would have got 33% lesser chance to attempt exam, right? Now, look and think in terms of probability. More the chances of attempt you get, the more the chances of your qualification is, right? And that's the point number one which I want to make, which I'm sure most of the mathematical minds out there would have already analyzed. But for those who are really in a dilemma, never ever please don't skip the January exam. You must write the January exam. Even if you are not prepared, still you should write the January exam. I'm going to tell you why. Now, there is a famous saying, which is do not keep all your eggs in the same basket. So if you target June or December of 2022 exam, what if there is another pandemic wave and uh, that may impact your uh, preparation and the exam schedules, it may get postponed again. So don't do that. Don't think that I'll skip January to go for June or December. Many students said they, they, should, they would do that. Please don't do it. The second thing which I want to highlight here is in today's super information harass, we are sitting on a super highway of information. The more the number of mouths, the more the number of opinions, right? And you all are listening to opinions from various people. But do what your heart says, do what your brain says. But I'm here to give you some logical pointers which will help you arrive at a decision whether you should write all the three times or not, okay? So the first point which I told you is you are getting a 33% higher chance. Okay, no problem. But what's more? The next thing is, even if you write the first time and you don't qualify, suppose you qualified, it'll give you a chance to improve your rank, okay? So in less time, now normally people used to get this opportunity two times, now you're getting three times. So that's a point number two you will get a chance to improve on your rankings. Now, since this exam is three times in the next 12 months, you have a chance to improve your rank in the less number of time. So, you know, people who have this age limit issue or people who want um, to get a JRF, they got into the LS category, you have a chance here, you have a golden opportunity, so don't skip all the three exams. Now, the third pointer is your competitors. Your competitors are less prepared for this exam. Now, why do I say that? The reason is human behavior. Just think about it. People got 18 months to prepare, right? And most of the students just lazied around and relaxed. But if you are not among them, if you continued your preparation, your chances of qualifying goes higher compared to those who were relaxing in those 18 months. And that is where the extra added advantage comes. Remember, you cannot become cutting edge unless you go beyond the edge. You've already gone beyond, beyond the edge by preparing diligently, consistently for past several months. So all your competitors are less prepared. So while others are tired, others were sleeping, you were studying. So now while others are now opening their books after a long time, you're already prepared. That is the reason. Do not skip the exam. Your competitors are less ready for the January exam. So your chances of qualifying is higher okay now this is another good news which happened during the pandemic because of pandemic the UGC decided that they will postpone this deadline for assistant professor okay so they said that earlier it was supposed to be 30 30th or 31st of July or June so after that, anybody who has not got a PhD would not be able to become an uh, assistant professor. But because of the pandemic, they extended this by two years, right? So you still have additional two years now 
to get a csiret and qualify and get your phd right so you have a golden opportunity to if you are targeting to become a you know you take if you want if you want to take a uh, job as an assistant professor or a professor in a university which is a very good option op option for those who are looking for a stable career right so this postponement happened okay last date of min minimum eligibility criteria has happened already now another point which i want to highlight here which has never happened in the history of csir net is you are able to directly talk to csir hrdg head if you can in case you face any problem okay most of the major problems which uh, we are seeing is getting resolved in real time within 24 hours or 48 hours they are able to resolve why because now we have a much more aware public and a much more responsive CSIR HRDG as well as a much more responsive NTA. Now both the exam conducting authority and fellowship granting authorities are highly responsive nowadays because of the pandemic they really understand the problem and the situation of all of you. So this has never happened before so the point which I want to make here is if in case you face any problem you will get answers right from the head of the HRDG. So the benefit is that may not happen in future. That has never happened in the past. In my past 15 years of my career, I've never seen the head of HRDG, you know, being so responsive. It's not that uh, they uh, were bad people. It's just that now they are becoming more responsive given that we have social media and stuff like that. So that's where it is. Okay, so that's another benefit. The next point is again, very, very important and which we have always highlighted in all our certification courses, all our webinars, all our, you know, internships that the demand is higher now, okay? Now, this is a point given by one of our experts at Biotechnica. She told us that the demand we are seeing is very, very high. In fact, just recently, there is a US startup. The job is posted recently on Biotechnica. They're looking for the uh, CSO, uh, the chief scientific officer, and that to in CRISPR, right? So you can see the demand for researchers in life sciences is going up, up, and up, and it is going to go up, up, and up, okay? So the demand for life science researchers is going to go up. It's already up, okay? And this is the best time to get your CSIR qualifying card to join recognized institute for GRF and PhD. So in the next two years, why or three years, while well, the demand will pick up, you would be ready with your qualification, which is a PhD in the next five years, and you will be ready to, you know, go in. A lot of US startups are, you know, creating their offices now in India because of the easy availability of talent pool in India, okay? And that I'm telling you, that you're listening from the horse's mouth, I'm telling you because of, uh, I'm, do, I'm directly talking to all those US startups and they are telling me their willingness to come to India to set up their research and innovation centers because they're seeing the talent pool, they're seeing the infrastructure and the friendliness of the government and of course the demand from the public that so the increase for researchers is going to go up and that means if you qualify CSN and if you finish up your PhD, your chances of getting employed is going to get higher. Okay, so that's one pointer which I wanted to highlight. Now, Next point, which I am telling you again and again, is please write all the three CSI net exams. Don't write just one or two. Don't be picky here. This is not the time to be picky because you have to kill uncertainty. See, you already passed through past 18 months of uncertainty. I, my heart goes out to all those students who really worked so hard, studied so hard, and all they heard is exam postponed. Exam ka happening just soon, 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 right? And we all were so much depressed, right? So now is the time that we are getting the exam, so let's kill the uncertainty. You go ahead and write the exam. Now, what will happen in 2023, we don't know, okay? After COVID-19, we really don't know what's next. Now we have Omicron, there can be anything else. So what I'm trying to tell you is kill the uncertainty. There can be some changes in the you know, uh, schedule or uh, the format, whatever it happens. If you write this exam in 2022 itself, then your chances of qualifying is higher, okay? Now, we at Biotechnica are right here to support you. Okay, our Biotechnica app, the link is given in the description. We have, we are right now running the previous year question paper series. Okay, next we have, we also conducted in September and October and November month, we conducted the CSIR net crash course, the free videos of that recording. So that is there in the app, you can lo log in and watch those. The next Biotechnica also has got smart revision tools and the bottom line of these tools is 
Nobody is going to write the exam un except you, not your teacher, not anyone else. It's you and your brain entirely who's going to write the exam. So these study tools, which is concept table, concept flowcharts, okay? And then you have uh, concept wheel, and then you have concept cloud, okay? So these are the four tools which you're getting from Biotechnica. The link is given in the description. You can check it out. And yes, we started recently the Raftar batch, okay? So the Raftar batch was started recently and we got excellent response from the students and many of them have already enrolled. If in case you are still lagging behind, you want some quick help for revision, Raftar batch is the place where you should be. All the previous video recordings are already there for this batch. So it's not that if you join today, you will miss out on something. You can always watch those and then pick up the pace. And this batch will go on till somewhere around 24th or 25th of January, 29th is the exam. So you will be prepared, fully prepared and practiced for this particular thing. The link is given in the description. And for those who are targeting the June exam, we also have the Eklavya batch, okay? So the Eklavya entrance exam happened on 12th of December, okay? So Eklavya premium batch is already full, full now Eklavya regular batch is available and in that you can enroll, okay? And in there also we have only 16 seats, okay? So the Eklavya premium batch was only through entrance exam. So 16 students have already enrolled. So uh, those, uh, the students, th that's the batch where the, uh, you know, enrollments are full, but there is a Eklavya we are regular batch which is also starting on January 4th which you can still enroll okay and that's uh, starting on January 4th. So these are the things which we are coming at Biotechnica. You should know that we will leave no stone unturned to help you but we cannot help you unless you take the decision. So take the decision today, be action taker. The link is given in the description. Go ahead, find out if you have any question, please let us know and we would love to answer them. Now with these thoughts, I would like to end this video. Now, before I go, what I want to highlight is what's the need of the hour. Do not study new topics and confuse yourself. If you're targeting the January exam, please do not study new topics and confuse yourself. This is the sandwich formula you have to follow. Revise, practice, revise, okay? So practice, revise, practice, revise. This is how the cycle keeps going, okay? The cycle keeps going like this, right? Take help of flowcharts, take help of flashcards, which you have created during your study times. If you've not created, you can always go for the concept tools and e-concept e uh, flowcharts, which Biotechnica has. Do not panic and do not worry. If you are in a panic state, if you are in a worried state and you think uh, you need help, then we have created an excellent video on that, how to mitigate worry and prepare for CSIRNet. The link is given in the description. Please check that out. That's an amazing video, which will, in 40 minutes, it will evaporate all your worries. It's a 40 minutes video, okay? I'm sure if you just watch it for 10 minutes also, you will know how important it is not to worry and instead take action, stay focused in these times. With these thoughts, I would like to end this video. Thank you so much for watching and please stay in touch. Our Telegram group link is given in the description. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, all the best for your upcoming exams and uh, take care. Bye-bye.